Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Monday, January 19th, and today we celebrate the Confession of St. Peter. The scripture for this service, Psalm 118 and John chapter 21, verse 15 to 22. And please join me in singing uh, verse 5 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. In my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Give thanks to God most high, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. Psalm 118, and please recite it together with me. Alleluia. Give thanks to God most high. For God is good and God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron and Elizabeth say, God's mercy endures forever. Let them that fear God the Most High say, God's mercy endures forever. I called upon you in my distress, and then you answered me and set me free. You are on my side, I will not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? You are at my side to help me, and therefore I shall see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in you than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to trust in you than to put confidence in rulers. The nations plotted against me, but in your name I will destroy them. They buzzed about me like bees. They blaze like a fire of thorns. For in your name I will destroy them. They have thrust sore at me that I might fall. But you, my God, have helped me. You are my strength and my song, and you have become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is heard in the tents of the righteous. Your right hand triumphs. Your right hand is exalted. Your right hand triumphs. I shall not die but live, and declare your works, my God. But you have chastened me, but you have not given me over to death. <clears throat> Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and sing your praise. This gate of yours is where the righteous shall enter. I praise you, for you have heard me and you have become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. And all of this is your doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which you have made. We rejoice and are glad in it. Hosanna, God most high, Hosanna. Send us your prosperity. Blessed are they that come in your name. We have blessed them from your house. You are God who has shown us light. Bind the sacrifice with the cords, even unto the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I praise you. You are my God, and I exalt you. Oh, give thanks to God most high, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God's, oh, give thanks to God most high, for God is good and God's mercy endures forever. Alleluia. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 21, beginning at verse 15. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And Peter said, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? 
And Peter said, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said, Tend my sheep. And he said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And Peter said, Lord, you know everything. <clears throat> you know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. And he said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. And after this, he said, follow me. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? And Jesus said to him, if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, merciful God of our salvation, we give you thanks and we proclaim your holy works. Open for us your gates of righteousness that we may enter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. Amen.